Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. Um, I'm Maker Gaming, and yeah, if you've watched any of the videos on my channel, you know I'm kind of obsessed with the polygons in general. Started with hexagons, uh, moved to pentagons, and now it's all sorts of shapes. But yeah, of everything I've ever figured out, it's all been from the edges, and I've always wanted to figure out a way to create these shapes from the center. And someone actually just commented on one of my old hexagon videos. And yeah, uh, just just what he said right there about the uh, about one of the diagonals being twice the length of a side just got me thinking about equilateral triangles and how we could use that to come up with a solution. So here's the solution. Thanks for watching. And I haven't applied this to any polygon, but I assume you can. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah, please leave a like if uh, this is something you haven't seen before. What's up, Bean? Okay, so why do we want something from the center? Um, should I show the old method? I mean, it's so easy, it's so quick that we could just show it real quick. Place your side, that's a two foundation side. We go one in from 45, which gives you a 120 degree angle. And you just repeat that six times. Yeah, so that's half of it. So that's all well and good. Uh, it's great for building hexagon buildings anywhere in the world, um, if you're starting fresh. But the problem is when you're trying to line this up with other buildings that you already have, it's really a problem when you can only work from um, those sides. So let's just say we want a hexagon. I mean, we pick anywhere. So yeah, if I wanted to do this around a point, I would just kind of have to guess over here and build it around and hope it got centered and do a bunch of nudging. It would never be dead on. This is dead on though. All right. So you have your center point marked off by a beam, place the foundation on the top of the beam. Now we're going to need three road barriers to create our hexagon pattern. So you want to put the first one down and then rotate, I believe it's three. No, I believe it's four. It's a little hairy when you start stacking stuff, but we can get in there. Actually, up top's fine too. One, two, three, four. Hold control and that'll replace your barriers with whatever wall you're holding. All right, so we have our hexagon diagonals drawn out from the center now. So now we're going to take beams. And you know, there's going to be some overlapping, so I've found that this kind of works. We're going to put those there so that we can bring them back to use them as guides when we need them. And you want to go out any multiple of 8, right? Because that's the size of our foundations. So we'll do 16, which is two foundations. And you're going to want to do that going both directions. All right, now we're going to mark these just so that we can also delete these because they're going to get in the way too. And that's our first side, and we're going to do that three more times. Let me time lapse or something. All right, so that's our six points now each of those is 16 away from the center and we went from the tops right so also you want to change your build mode back to default now because all of those placeholders out there are now uh, correctly angled to be to run through the center all right we don't need those anymore and i don't know if this seems convoluted but we're almost done you want to make sure you get this one. I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, you're just connecting all the ends, staying in free form. There you go, 16. Alright, so now we have the frame of the centered hexagon, right? Okay, and then the final step, you just come in here and you press H for nudge and then you go four in on either side and you just come in and you just keep doing that 
H. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you could do it from that side and that side, but because it's exact, I mean, you don't need to. You can just, you know, basically zoop off the first one. H, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So yeah, now we could, like I said, build a little hub, or hell, looks more like a, a little umbrella for that part of the bridge. And yeah, we have our hexagon from the middle. Hold on, I'm gonna try to avoid dying. So yeah, that's it. We're now hexagon built from the center with no overlapping uh, foundations on the sides, which is helpful in terms of uh, if you're trying to keep simple looks like windows, you're not gonna have any of the overlaps here. But yeah, that's it. And if, if you look at these two uh, other videos, the create any angle videos and the polygon blueprint video, um, I think you could use those two with this method to do a polygon from the center for any of those polygons. I just don't feel like figuring out the math. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, check out this tower I'm building. People like it. Okay. Hey, me again. Yeah, I figured out the polygon, um, well at least the pentagon one also. Uh, you can kind of see in the method here, and that template of the Pentagon is from that video I showed earlier, the Polygon Blueprint video. Anyways, I'm going to get more into this method. I, I think I'm just going to come out with the blueprint of these two grids, so give me a couple days, I'll come out with that. I just really wanted to get this idea out because, yeah, the hexagon from the center, it's kind of a game changer for me. All right, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, subscribe.